that my video made it to the top 20 for the whoinspiresyou.ca contest and you can actually vote starting July 12th which was this past Monday and the voting period ends on August 23rd at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time and I'm just gonna put a link right here so you guys can go there and vote for me my video is number 5 on the list so yeah hey guys so July 5th was both my birthday and my first year anniversary on YouTube and to celebrate with that I am going to do a haul video. I know that's very self-centered and very greedy but um, I haven't done one since last September so and I have some pretty amazing presents. And this is not one of those look how everyone adores me kind of videos but because I really cut back on beauty products and including makeup and um, I also haven't bought clothes maybe because I'm putting my money towards some other things that are also very important to me so yeah I felt like I deserve this one so um, one of my subscribers from Korea her name is Color Lover 18 that's her screen name and her name is Anna She's an art professor in Seoul in South Korea and she sent me this amazing package a few weeks ago and I'm just going to show you what was in it because um, she lives in South Korea where they have a lot of pr um, like South Koreans seem to be very obsessed with skincare because half of this stuff is skincare and there's products like Skin Food, Etude House, um, Nature Republic and actually one of my best friends who was in South Korea this past year, she's familiar, she's familiar with all of those brands, so that was also interesting. Okay, so all the stuff I put into this giant Sephora bag, because these Sephora bags are built for this kind of stuff and they're quite durable. Um, yeah, that's all of it. And some of it is on my desk. So yeah, I just this dual secret lip color and lip gloss. I used it to do this tutorial. For this makeup, this really intense makeup, um, it's a dual lip color and a lip gloss. So this is the lipstick on one end. It's a really pretty pink color and it's great for everyday wear. And this is the lip gloss. They have these in North America too, like this kind of, this idea, but we don't have this brand. And I really like the packaging, um, yeah. I like orthogonal lines. Okay, so this is from Nature Republic. It's a really big brand in South Korea. And yeah. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Anna because this is really generous because she's just like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna see a package, but I didn't realize that I was gonna get all of this stuff. So I put a link to her channel in the under bar and I'll have a link somewhere on this page too. Okay, next she also makes her own brushes and she sent me two of them. This is, it says Sabella on it. And it's an angled foundation brush, but I really like it for concealer because it really gets that part of the skin really well. And it's so soft. Next me some pens too because I, I adore Asian stationery. <laughs> like um, when I was a kid I always go to stores and buy Sanrio pencil cases, mechanical pencils like those and retractable pencils too. And I really like this pen. Some of the English trans translations make absolutely no sense. Some of them don't. It's a retractable pen. Yeah I'm such a nerd about stationery. Like who does stationery hauls? Anyway, so yeah, she also got me this furry pen, Tony Molly, Tony Molly or something. It has a peach on top of it, and it's a pink furry pen. And a regular furry pen, <laughs> yeah. if you can call furry pens regular. Oh, and this is the other brush that she made. It's a stippling brush, and she has like all these cute messages on it. So, yeah, this is the stippling brush, and it's really soft too. It has like the white hairs on top and the black 
hairs on the bottom so you can get a really even distribution of color and yeah this is also says Sabella on it too and I compare it to this, my dirty Sephora brush and yeah they look pretty much the same yeah because Anna mentioned that she wanted to do her own like start up her own brush company but it was too expensive to start up but yeah I really do like these brushes because they're so soft and it doesn't fall over my face because I know that this Sephora brush leaves black hairs on my face because it sheds quite easily. And next she got me this skin food charcoal soap. And it smells very herbal and I'm just going to take it out of the box. Charcoal soap sounds weird. Well I use some of it so that's why it has some suds, dry suds on it. Um, yeah, skin food. So charcoal soap is really good if you have oily skin like me because you notice that after you finish wash, if you cleanse your skin with charcoal soap, it makes it less oily and it leaves you with like this really nice matte finish on your skin. So I really do like that. I think it's made of bamboo charcoal, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. It says special Especially charcoal formulated for f treatment of acne and trouble. That doesn't really make much sense, but you get what they mean. It prevents acne, even helping to fade the visible signs of past acne breakouts, reducing redness and discomfort, discouraging skin's oily output. And she also gave me these scrubby towels. <laughs> the best, apparently. Um, yeah. So, like the picture shows, it's just like regular scrubby towels. And my lip is falling apart, so I will probably need those. And she, I also complained that I have, like my, sometimes my hair gets in the way all the time, so she gave me these Korean hair ties. Well, I guess they're like hair sheets to keep my hair, to keep my bangs in place. And what else? Oh, she got me these um, these stains, these lip stains. I never tried lip stains before, and I wasn't. These are really these are really liquidy. She got me two of these, and I actually gave some to my sisters as well. Yeah. Oh, I tried this one out. It's like a jelly formula. Um, this is by Nature Republic. It's the Red Carpet Star Sweet Lip Tint. I really like this packaging. It looks like a vial of blood. I'm not gonna try it on my face, but like it's really, really vibrant. So there's that. And I try these dark eye circle things just to make my eyes cooler to help depuff them. And she, like in Korea, they have this obsession with being pale and almost porcelain white. And um, I don't really understand it because I like being tanned. And North America, most people do like, adore do you like being tanned. And this is um, Eco Soleil sunblock powder. I tried this. But it just makes my skin like really really white because this is basically a white powder. And you just put this on your skin. So yeah. And blend. And it makes it like really pale. <laughs> so yeah. And I've changed because it's so hot in my house. Okay, so she also gave me oil blotting sheets because I cannot go through a summer without these. I am reliant on these because of my excessively oily skin. And she gave me a lot of samples. Um, she actually messaged me, she's like, hmm, do you still want some samples because I think it makes me look like a cheap girl. Anyway, so she got me this, um, a bunch of these masks. And more masks. More masks. 
Ar Argan Nutrixer mask sheet. I don't know. There's a dude on the cover. Yeah. I look really dark compared to him. We're like a different species. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just took out my fake lashes, which I will probably use in my next video if I ever want to do like a moose long or doll kind of eye makeup tutorial. Oh, and she actually sent me um, a few notes. Like, this has a Christmas theme to it. And yeah, there's a note. I'm not going to read it out to you guys. They're pretty personal. So, yeah. She's really sweet for doing that. And she sent me a chalk load of more samples, mainly from Nature Republic and Skin Food and stuff. And um, they're really obsessed with whiteness, like paleness, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is called Petite Bijou Cotton Snow Moisture Body Lotion and Soft Body Wash. These supposedly help you get a brighter, clearer, paler complexion all over your body. Oh, and she gave me some liquid eyeliner because I had to throw out mine because it was getting really, really crusty. Oh, and she also got me these two eye pencils, eyebrow pencils, because I am set, I am obsessed with eyebrows. Um, yeah, this is this has an eyebrow thing right here, an eyebrow comb. It comes in this really pretty pink box. Tube. It's from a tube house, and this one is from. Um, it just says Misha.net. And it's a smudge-proof wood eyebrow. I've actually been using this for the past couple weeks. It has it's a eyebrow pencil on one end. And on the other end, it's an eyebrow shaper. This is perfect. It's the perfect size for my eyebrows. I really need to get my eyebrows done. Yeah. And this got me, oh, because I'm so obsessed with eyebrows, she got me an eyebrow shaping set. The two brow combs and an eyebrow, an eyebrow scissors. She got me this cute eyeshadow. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. Like a really metallic taupe dark brown. And powder blue. I'm sure I'll find a use for this somewhere. And an orange metallic color. Oh, and lastly, she got me this vitamin C O2 white and intensive serum. So basically, it's it bleaches your face. Not so it's like super white, but for me, it just helps me get rid of my dark. Because I have some, I can't really see it right now because, um, but you've, if you look at my previous videos in the past, I don't know, couple months, I've had some red acne scars on my chin and over here, but they appear to be fading in because I've been using this. This is like really, really intense, but um, I really don't recommend you use it on fresh acne, like active pimples, because it will really irritate them, because this is actually, it has bleach in it pretty much, so that will really irritate um, active, pins active pimples, and I remember like the first few applications I was fine, but then um, my most recent application, uh, I think I did it two days ago, my skin was, I woke up with really red, blotchy skin, so I don't know, I don't know why my skin is reacting to it so late, so I've decided to, to just discontinue use for now, maybe it mixed up with my acne medication, with my acne, um, cream, because my acne cream is quite strong, I guess they mixed up in certain areas, because I, I never put it on my forehead, because my forehead reacts the most to things, but whatever. And anyway, that is all the stuff, all the fun stuff that I got from Korea. And next I'm going to do my birthday stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, 
Canada and North America because I know South Korea doesn't have like the full range of American products like we do. Um, yeah. So don't forget to subscribe to Anna. Um, again, there's a link in the underbar to her channel and a link right here to her channel. And go check her out. She's really, really cool. <laughs>